Hi, I'm Donald McIntyre, founder of Etherplan. I research, write articles, and podcasts about Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, and decentralized applications. This is a series called Getting Started with Ethereum Classic, Section Presidents, and the article I'm going to read is What is Ethereum in Layman's Terms? This is episode 4 of 50. What is Ethereum in Layman's Terms? When we use our computers and use Word documents or other files, we normally save them in folders. A folder with documents, photos, spreadsheets, music files, and other files, it's it that could be called our database. When we use Facebook, for example, we don't keep that database of photos, uh, status reports, messages, links, etc. in our computer. Facebook keeps a database of all our activities on their servers in a data center, which is a building full of servers, which are powerful computers. In the case of Bitcoin, instead of using Facebook or any other service to store our stuff in their databases, we download a software that is more or less like Skype, and instead of sending and receiving voice or video or text between us, we send and receive units called Bitcoin. The Bitcoin software, Bitcoin Core, instead of centralizing the database in a service like Facebook or Google or Dropbox, it keeps a copy of the database on our laptop or PC. Imagine 10 friends at a bar around a table and everybody with a laptop and a copy of Bitcoin. Each laptop has a complete database of the Bitcoin list of accounts and transactions. When a friend A sends one Bitcoin to friend B, it sends the message to all 10 laptops and they all check that the balance is correct, the accounts, etc. And after checking and doing some other calculations, they all agree to post on the databases that they all have in their disks the new transaction. The Bitcoin database is called a blockchain because of how it operates and the process by which all computers check transactions and, and, and reach an agreement is called consensus. There's another process called mining, but I think it's not relevant in a layman's explanation. The world-changing invention of Bitcoin is that all computers participating in the network can keep this distributed database updated and with all latest transactions without the need of a central player like Facebook or a bank to be the, the guarantor of security and clearance of Bitcoin movements. This was not possible before. It was a computer science problem for decades, but now it's possible. The combination of the blockchain and the consensus process of all machines participating in the network keeps it secure and attackers or hackers could, fal uh, could falsify or corrupt the database only if they had more than 50% of the computing power of the network. Because by now there are so many and powerful computers participating, to hack Bitcoin is so costly that it's nearly impossible. Smart, isn't it? The Bitcoin network and its database, the blockchain, only handles and post accounts and new transactions so it is used as money where the balances are passed from account to account as everybody enters new transactions. In the case of Ethereum, it is the same invention but instead of only handling accounts and transactions, it can also store computer programs like if account X has Y balance and if today is December 31st of 2020, then transfer five coins to, to account Z. If not, don't do anything. And as the above program can be set up on Ethereum and would live in the Ethereum database forever, because it is stored in thousands of computers around the world, people may store any kind of prog program that can execute orders of any kind and responding to any kind of parameters like dates, quantities, sports results, or any, uh, anything else that happens in the real world. Since, Ethereum, since the Ethereum database is stored in thousands of powerful computers and laptops around the world, collectively, they may be described as a single computer because they all have the same database and can communicate between each other. Collectively, they have so much computing power that by sharing it and the database with the money and programs, they may be an incredibly powerful multi-service data center for the world and for many purposes. References, Bitcoin white paper, the Ethereum white paper. Thank you very much.